Hey everybody, John Henderson here, the Beer Ramble. Hold on, let me tie my shoes. Okay, back today we're looking at another rehash. Budweiser, the king of beers. 1876 when he made his debut. Adolphus Bush, the creator of this delicious product. 5% ABV. Is a beer made of quotes two row, six row, barley malt, choice hops, rice, and water from the delicious Mississippi River. Good old water from there. So, anyway, um, I'm sure y'all have been seeing a lot of commercials by uh, Budweiser released really promoting not just with their Freedom Reserve log, which I did a review of, but. Um, but the red 1933 repeal and also this beer are American made. We are proud. We are proud to be brewed here. And I think it all kind of started in 19, 2015, three years ago, when they sort of took a shot at the craft brewery companies. You know, so y'all can have your peach ale. You know, we're going to keep making beer the way beer needs to be made. Beachwood age, you know, the traditional way, the right way, where beer should taste like beer. But sniff that peach ale and all this other stuff. Sort of kind of dissing the craft beer companies um, in a lot of ways. And some of the craft beer took it to offense, but, you know, which I kind of thought was kind of petty by Anheuser Bush and Beth to do that. You know, but they kind of want to stake their claim as, you know, you know man, interesting enough, they're the ones who've been buying most of the craft breweries, you know. I think the last one, and I might be wrong, the one they bought was Elysian. Of course, the makers of the Elysian Space Dust IPA, which is also quite good. Also, they have a hand in Blue Point Brewery, um, based in Long Island. And, uh, they have a hand in that. The makers of the Toasted Lager, they have a hand in that brewery. So, so I was like, why would they diss the craft breweries? But, but then again, they're gobbling all the craft breweries. So, um... Definitely get some of the malts. I had this in the freezer now for a couple of, about maybe an hour or two right now. Definitely taste some of that. Uh, definitely gonna hit a lot of uh, hops in this immediately. Hot day today, guys. So screw the sniff and, and the feel of the beer. So let me just drink right now. It's hot. So been cleaning out the shed and doing some things here. I'm about to go help my mother-in-law do some stuff around the corner. So 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 wait till things kind of cool down. But I don't want it to start raining, as you well know. Mobile and its weather tend to be unpredictable. So. Same traditional taste as I've, I've had it from previous years when I was before. Me and my brothers have had this. I'm sure we all know your mom, your dad, grandparents, great-grandparents have had this beer. World of renown, world famous, uh, Budweiser, as it says. Budweiser, lager beer. Um, like I said, and as of recently, that's been their thing. And, uh, and I know that we live in a very light beer world right now. If you look at the top 20 best-selling beers or most popular beers by sales, uh, 11 of the top 20 are all light beers. And Budweiser, Miller High Life, and beers like that are somewhere. You know, Budweiser, I know, is like still in the top five, but maybe like maybe the top 10, I should say. So maybe maybe five, maybe number six number seven I mean I know natural light and bush lighter in there and and the cost of Budweiser right now depends where you can go get it I mean anywhere obviously you know <clears throat> certain states are different in terms of laws and what they how they charge prices in terms of beer but um, you know, certain stores it depends like you go to the drug stores like the CVS or Rite Aid or Walgreens or Those are the three that comes to mind right now, the well-known ones. Um, 
they'll they'll have specials during the week. You know, hey, Budweiser, nineteen ninety nine for twenty four pack cans or bottles. <clears throat> or you go to your everyday grocery store, you know, national chain, Walmart, Costco, Target, um, Sam's Club, or if you go to you know a, re- a regional store like a Publix or maybe a Meyer or a Kroger, or whatever, the beers will be a little higher than than advertised. So. Depends if you can me. I'm all about finding a good deal. And if I can't get Budweiser, I'll get a six pack or a 24 pack. A six pack or a, a four pack of, of the cans. 16 ounce cans. Just some of the kind of. Remember the nostalgia of Budweiser. Um, born on date, which is also key with Anheuser Busch and Maven. All these beers right now. It's like July 31st, 2018. So it's going to expire in a couple of days. We get close to the month of August. I'm gonna say very refreshing, easy drinking, delicious, tasty lager. Um, and at the time when this beer had came out, beforehand, and they were mostly dark ales that were very popular. The darker, more alcohol content, but people were looking for something more refreshing, easy, not overly high in alcohol. Um, as we got to the late 60s, mid 60s, late 60s, early mid to mid 70s, people who were very health conscious wanted something that, hey, we love beer, but we won't want to put on the panel. That's when the light beer craze started, about in the mid 70s early to mid-70s at that time before a gentleman's light, light, light came out in 1975. So, um, as I said, I ain't going to go on and on about this. Uh, and then there were other beers out there to say, yeah, we were the first, you know, we're the first brewery in America. We we're first, you know, hams, you know, we're the first lager and all this. I said, that's wrong. But why does I think they have been really ahead of its time in terms of, you know, innovation Brewing, brewing techniques, the beach, beach wood, beach wood age of how they, you know, um, make their beers, which is sort of unique at its time when when, when they did this. So, um, again, um, pair this with anything, you know, from your burgers, hot dogs, hot wings to I don't know, a good nice steak with some fries. Uh, at a, in a salad at a restaurant or, you know, a grilled tuna uh, with, you know, or salmon or whatever with uh, um, a salad and some steamed asparagus, you know, this can pair well with anything. Pizza, you know, this is just the perfect complement beer to have. And, and again, I say Anheuser Bush has really been promoting that America made, we're first, we're, we're here, we're going to give you the best that you can get in. No doubt about it. You know, we're going to be around for a long, long time. So here we are, you know. So, and, and it has worked now in terms of sales. As I mentioned, you know, we're living in a light beer culture now, light beer world. And, you know, it's what it is. So uh, the quality of this beer is still top notch. And, uh, yeah, to me, I prefer this on draft. I think it's better on draft, in my opinion. You know, the cans on the bottles are all right, but it's on when it's on draft, you have this man. It's just like, oh man, this is like gold. It's awesome. And I've had it at draft, and I think a couple of restaurants here in Mobile do serve it on serve it on draft. And when you try it, folks, it's like, man, this is awesome. So like the other day, I, I did I had TBR on draft, and I thought this is just definitely incredible. I mean, what I had in the can or bottle. Some of us, some of us, wherever live, where, where, wherever we live, if we're fortunate enough to get it on draft, great. If we don't, then eh, we're out of luck, right? So, and anyway, won't go on. Um, it is an American tradition, American-made lager. Really enjoy it. Again, everyone who's had it just can't rave enough about it. And like I said, on a hot day like this, it is perfect right now in Mobile. So. And, of course, the many locations, the breweries, like, there's 13 
breweries they have. Obviously, obviously St. Louis, Missouri is their main, is their world headquarters, as well as the other headquarters of of, uh, of Anheuser-Busch Mev is in uh, Belgium, Louvian, Belgium. But most of everything that goes down with the brewery and with the company had takes place in St. Louis, so Mizzou. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give this uh, the style for the lager and for what it is. Uh, it's an A minus for me. Very good. Those who don't like lagers so well, but it is a very good lager for me. I've had it. Always will. Yeah. Not all the time, but whenever I can get my hands on, I get my hands on it and wash it down and enjoy it every single time. So, so that is my score. A A plus. That'd be a eight point nine nine score for. Budweiser. The Rehash. John Henderson Pierre, the Beer Ramelton. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Budweiser is the king of beers. Budweiser.